The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily represent those of this station or its management. It's time now for Where You Live with Gene Sullivan, the show that deals with the news and events that affect you the most. Whether you rent or own, live in an HOA, single-family home, or an apartment building, Gene will tackle the issues right where you live. So, from the True North Painting Studios, here is the original man of steel, Resolve himself, who stands for truth, justice, and the association way. Here's Gene Sullivan. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Where You Live. I'm Gene Sullivan, and I'm broadcasting from the True North Painting Studios. When you're looking for that right painting contractor, what do you look for? Isn't it someone who will respect you, your time, your property, and your budget? That's what you can expect from True North Painting. Find out more about this exceptional company by going online at truenorthpainting.com. That's trunorthpainting.com, or give them a call at 952-831-1433. I'm also brought to you by the great folks at Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. want to say hello, as always, to Christopher Wider Huberty. How are you, Chris? Good, Gene. How about yourself? I'm, I'm really good. Say, let me ask you, um, can you think of some great rivalries of all time? What, uh, what comes to your mind when you think of that? I guess I think uh, Yankees, Red Sox, okay. uh, in terms of sports, Celtics, Lakers. Uh, I suppose uh, the Packers, Vikings. The Packers, right? Vikings, yep. Okay. Uh, in college, uh, there would be uh, Army, Navy. Yep. Indiana, Purdue. Got to give a shout okay, out to my alma go. mater. Okay. Yep. yep. And uh, some some rivalries are uh, sort of uh, more uh, fun competition in nature. Mm-hmm. Others get really ugly. Yeah. Uh, when you think of the really ugly ones, what comes to mind? I guess I think of uh, a lot of wars dating back to like some of the world wars. Okay. And how about, how about two families that come to mind in the United States? Uh, I'm blank. For some reason, my mind went straight to the mafia. Okay. Which, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose that would be too. I'm thinking of uh, the Hatfields and, oh, and, and the McCoys. McCoys. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, that one was deadly. Um, you know, uh, in uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, we're going to be talking in our first story today uh, about a developer who is upset and has a rivalry going with the homeowners uh, around this uh, uh, tract of land that he wants to develop, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's uh, quite interesting uh, and and kind of funny. Uh, thinking about rivalries uh, again, uh, I'm thinking of uh, sports and also uh, the military. For mm-hmm. example, did you know that how the Ironman triathlon got started? I don't know. It was a uh, little little no fact. It was uh, in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I think all branches of uh, the military were uh, a couple guys were all together uh, at a bar one time talking about who might have uh, the best physical strength, ah. and endurance, and stamina. And they came up with the contest mm-hmm. of all contests, and that was mm-hmm. the Ironman triathlon. Whoever won was considered the Ironman. Okay. And I so, didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, maybe between now and the next uh, segment you can uh, look up. I don't know who was the first military uh, person to win the triathlon. Yeah, I'll look that up. I want to say I, when I think of it, the Marines come to mind. I, that'd that's be my first they're, guess. They're tough, yeah. but I don't know. So that, that would be uh, interesting. Yeah. But let's take a look at our feud uh, today in property management in the news. <music> property management in the news is brought to you by Home Furniture and Abbey Floor Coverings. Their showrooms are staffed with professionals who will help you choose what you need to fit both your lifestyle and budget. Whatever you need, chances are they'll have what you're looking for. If you wish to avail yourself of special pricing, you're not going to find anywhere else. All where you live, listeners, call customer service coordinator Lori Matson at 952-224-2663. Our uh, first story uh, is, uh, this is out of the Gulf uh, Digest, and this is in San Diego, California. And there is a dispute, uh, a rivalry 
Uh, apparently, there is a developer who uh, purchased a unused golf course. Uh, the name of his uh, corporation was Stuck in the Rough LLC. And uh, he uh, bought that tract of land and uh, surrounding a golf course like all golf courses everywhere else, you'll find some very nice homes. And uh, the homes around this golf course are in a homeowners association, of course. And they are all single-family detached homes, but they are all represented in the association. They've been fighting vehemently against this developer uh, trying to prevent him from being able to develop that land. They like looking out at a golf course. They like looking out at green space. They don't know if they want to look out at a bunch of other homes. And so this developer has done something, uh, something uh, I guess, uh, a little bit unusual to kind of get back with uh, the people for not uh, being able to go along with him. Uh, in his efforts to uh, keep the grass looking uh, nice and green. Apparently, this developer has dumped noxious chicken manure on the property land uh, where he wants to build hundreds of homes. It says that the manure was placed strategically on 10 fairways closest to the homes overlooking uh, the course. Now, the attorney for the developer said, uh, the property owner is using a legal product uh, that is used nationally on fairways. Uh, but the uh, board president is saying that uh, this smell is pretty nasty. Uh, apparently, uh, he is getting a citation of about $10,000 a day for doing this. Uh, would this be something you'd consider a gag order? All seriousness aside, it's really getting people uh, upset. One thing that I never knew before, I don't know if uh, any of our uh, you listeners have heard of this before, but they categorize uh, the, uh, I guess, the severity of the odor. They classified this as a level five odor. I kid you not, uh, level five odor. Apparently, in the area of uh, odor detection and threshold, they have really put together uh, quite a deal here. They have uh, what's considered the odor uh, detection threshold. What do you think the odor detection threshold is? Well, that's the lowest concentration of any certain odor or compound, and I guess that could be good or bad, that is perceivable by the human sense of smell. Now, they come up with uh, level one, level two, level five, all these different uh, levels. They say level five is enough to make you gag. Uh, and uh, I guess as it gets uh, more severe, it gets even worse than that. But uh, to get the uh, value, apparently it is a math equation. Uh, it says that here that you take what is considered the odor unit uh, in concentration and divide that uh, by the threshold value of the odor. <laughs> so I guess, I guess their scientists have put a lot into it. Uh, this developer uh, is uh, putting a lot into it as well and uh, really is not the, the best of neighbors, but something we've come to expect quite a bit in society where when people can't get along and can't get their way, uh, they just kind of thumb their nose and try to get back at uh at someone else. And uh, it seems kind of comical to the people living around this golf course. Not so funny. Uh, they have uh, homes uh, that have uh, good values and they do not like what smells like a chicken farm uh, that is just emanating from this golf course. It reminds me of uh, another uh, story. I, I think I've probably mentioned this too. Uh, I have a good friend who uh, lives in Edina, and he was telling me of one of his neighbors who had a feud with, uh, his, with uh, a next-door neighbor. Apparently, uh, one gentleman in a community uh, 
did not get along with the person where his property was adjacent to. Uh, their backyards uh, touched uh, one another, and they had the property line uh, between them. Most people, when they build a fence, they build the fence right on the property line. This guy ended up building the fence 10 feet in. And so it looked like uh, he was giving this other guy essentially another 10 feet of uh, space just to uh, goof around in a backyard. And the neighbor thought, oh, maybe the feud was over. No, no, no. That wasn't what this was all about at all. He put up a six-foot privacy fence 10 feet back. And then that first fall, he saw exactly what this guy was going to do. He had plans of raking his entire yard and then dumping the leaves behind the fence. And when the neighbor said, hey, how come you're doing this? He said, well, I'm not uh, bothering you. This is just, I'm just placing the leaves on my yard. And of course, you know what's going to happen. It just blows all over this guy's yard and the feud goes on. That is uh, just some of the pettiness and uh, probably not the best nature uh, of us in society. But what is this show about? This show is about how to live in a homeowner association, how to get along with others, and we're going to do that, but we're going to take a break right now. Don't go away. A lot more of Where You Live with Gene Sullivan on AM 1280 The Patriot. Back after these messages. 